Hey, it's Jerome in North Kentucky Gear Check. I am doing a video on a project I have been working on for the last two weeks, or two weekends. Um, not this. <laughs> um, but it's pouches. Oh, well, that's not really a good one. It's fabric. This is a, this is okay. Pouches I've been making for my. main uh, go bag, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is my first attempt at it. Um, I should say a disclaimer. Uh, this is for personal use. I am not selling anything. I am not I am not selling anything. I am not uh, making any money off this. I am just doing it uh, because I would, uh, I, I wanted to make something and uh, for my bags. So, you know, so please don't sue me. <laughs> but, um, these are bags that I've been making uh, for my go bag, bug out bag, whatever you want to call it, uh, emergency preparedness bag, 72 hour kit. Uh, well, this long term survival kit. Uh, this here, this is going to be my cook set. It's got right there. Um, but yeah, the, the, oh, that's something, my first one I made. Um, actually, the, the second bag I made, it did not turn out as good as I wanted. Um, for some reason, it, it flipped around and I had to take it all apart and uh, redo it from scratch. Um, Resew it up from scratch. I am not the best sewer, but these are all double lined with just a natural uh, tan uh, fabric. And I just wanted to uh, find a camo pattern I can find or to, to use. I got this from Walmart. And you can see this bag here. Well, I can't really see the bag very good. Um, but you can see the pattern. And this, this is a fairly sized bag. Uh, this bag here, it's about the same size, but I have a zipper on it, and I it took me forever because I had to turn it inside out and turn it back the other way and turn it inside out again. There's some of these I actually have to go back through and stitch. I am not the best sewer, but this isn't going to tear. Uh, but this one isn't the least and I wanted to make sure that it was going to hold up uh, but some of the some of the stitches I have to go through again and uh, and re-sew it um, I pretty much did it in uh, two Saturdays um, and a little I guess a little bit on Sundays um, but, and I just have a little leather thongs, or little uh, cords from, uh, that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and it's the first time I ever did this, and what I actually wanted to do was a more uh, heavier fabric. And uh, I think this is a, uh, more of a Marpat. Uh, I don't know if this is licensed Marpat or not, but this is a, a Marpat pattern that I got from Joanne Fabrics, and I think it's a heavier fabric because uh, on, on one of these, I can't remember where, it kind of scratched or something. That you can see white showing through because the first side is white. So I don't I don't know, but this seems more like a heavier fabric. And uh, the next time I go and do some sewing like this, um, after I'm done with these, I'm going to switch to more of this and, uh, and, and try to get more of this and, and do a whole bag, a couple more bags. Um, what I'm actually thinking about doing with this, uh, I don't know if it's big enough or not, but what I'm actually thinking about doing for this is a pack cover. Um, Yeah, it should be big enough. I'm thinking about doing a pack cover, making a pack cover 
uh, for my filby pack. Um, and and uh, just uh, making my own instead of buying it. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna double line this also um, when I after I make it. I'm gonna double line this also, and uh, that way it adds extra um, layers on it. So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I got uh, one of these. Uh, I made one of these. As I said, for my cook set, I made mean, another one for my uh, for a little sleeping pad, uh, that um, like moving blanket type thing, and a uh, a wool blanket that I'm gonna shove in this one, uh, the zippered one, uh, and I just made a couple random ones um, that I probably figure out something. Uh, I know I made one for like washcloths uh, for uh, hygiene purposes and 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 such. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this. So, thanks for watching the video. Um, again, you know, I got this, uh, I got this fabric from Walmart, and I made sure I got a, uh, uh, heavier fabric also to, to, to line it. You can see the color there. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I got a heavy fabric to line it, and I got... This Marpat pattern from Joanne Fabrics, uh, which I think they run out of a lot. Um, this is because this is Kentucky. <laughs> um, so, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.